Rectangular array, positive or negative column and row spacing. When I pick on an existing column and I look at the spacing in between the columns and the spacing in between the rows, right now both of, the, both of these are positive numbers. So it puts the rows and the columns in the positive direction in the X and Y. When I change that, for example, let's put a negative value here in the column spacing. And so I put a negative value in and I click and it flips it over so that the columns are on the left side essentially. So in case you didn't see that, I'll put a positive value in here. And so when it's positive, it's over on the right side. When it's negative, it goes towards the left. Okay? So let's put a negative value in here for the rows. When I put a negative value in, it goes downwards in the negative y. So whenever I put a negative in the, in the row spacing, it goes downwards. If I put a negative in a column spacing, it goes to the left. If I put a negative for both of them, they both end up being applied, and now it's down on the bottom and on the left. So which way you put a positive or negative number on the spacing for columns or the spacing for rows matters in its determining the direction in which the, uh, the array is going to grow from its source point. All right, so it's source point, the original, the object. So I'm gonna put them back to the both positive now so we can see the difference. And now they're both positive. And so we can determine the direction uh, of the array from its source object by putting in a positive or negative value for the row and column spacing values.